Sport has the power to create equity in society. Let that sink in for a moment. Sport has the power to create equity in society, in our communities. It may feel like a stretch. Making the connection may feel like attempting to jump the Grand Canyon. I get it. So let me share this powerful perspective with you. Sport provides physical, mental, and emotional benefits. That is a well-documented fact. Sport also provides a platform to teach life lessons, to build character, to develop self-esteem, and to form lifelong friendships. For kids, sport is a much needed escape from daily pressure. It's an opportunity to get together with friends and play, leaving everything behind for just a while. No devices, no social media. Parents, how's that sound? <laughs> sport is a journey that impacts individuals on a much deeper level too. When kids learn to play hockey, the first lesson they're taught is how to stand back up by yourself after falling down. Do any of you skate? Do you remember your first time? Almost as soon as you take your first step on the ice, you fall down. And then you fall again, and you fall again, and you probably fall again. For kids, no problem. In hockey, kids learn at a young age, every time you fall, you get back up. Fear is not, failure is not feared. It's just part of the process. It's important for kids to learn how to get back up. And over an athlete's experience, that continues, and not just literally. Making mistakes in big games, getting cut from a team, losing a championship game. The act of continuing to get back up after falling, after failing, develops resilience, and more importantly, contributes to a resilient mindset. This resilient mindset allows athletes to overcome obstacles and relentlessly pursue their goal with passion and perseverance. No matter how daunting the challenges may seem or statistics that indicate a slim chance of success. Playing on a team teaches players to reach beyond themselves for something greater. It's a time of self-reflection. It's a time to test one's willingness to be vulnerable, to trust oneself and teammates equally, to be open to change, and to be willing to sacrifice putting all personal agendas aside to reach the common goal. The common goal galvanizes the team and inspires each player to push themselves harder than they ever imagined possible. If the team reaches their goal, if they achieve the mission they set out to accomplish together, the experience is transformational. We often hear athletes talk about the journey more than winning the championship as having the greatest impact on their lives, on them as individuals. Players spend time together, a lot of time together, practicing, playing, on bus rides, sharing meals, on road trips, winning together and losing together, getting to know each other on a deeper level, and oftentimes getting to know each other's families too. The team is drawn together by shared struggle, hardship, and triumph. These powerful experiences create an unbreakable bond that sense of never wanting to let a teammate down. And in the years and decades that follow in school and business, in becoming a mom or a dad or a community leader, that sense of responsibility to others never leaves you. 
and the stakes are even higher for girls. Sport provides girls an important outlet. Playing on a team allows girls to be themselves. Stereotypes are rejected. They develop a positive body image. Being strong is celebrated. Being strong is powerful, empowering. Being an athlete is core to a girl's identity, shaping her values and her confidence to stand up for herself. And no matter the level achieved, the foundation will stay with her for life. In fact, over 90% of women in executive positions grew up playing sports. I grew up playing sports, and I've been around hockey my entire life. My father and two brothers played professional, and like many families, hockey was part of our identity. It brought us together and created so many experiences that have shaped my values and who I am as a person. I have four children, all adults now, all played sports growing up, and all use sports as a platform to pursue education. One still plays professional, and all have forged friendships that will last a lifetime. Sports influence my professional choices too. I am grateful for the opportunity to work with purpose, to use hockey as a vehicle to create opportunities, to impact the lives of kids and their families and underserved communities. Because I believe in the power of hockey to transform lives, I believe equity in sport is worth fighting for. And the battle continues. Let me give you a couple of examples. In hockey, there is a systemic challenge that prevents girls from equitable access and fairly distributed ice times. In fact, in North America, a grandfather clause exists that prioritizes and automatically assigns ice times to boys' associations. Worse yet, those ice times roll over year after year after year. This results in many girls' associations being shut out of ice times, access blocked, or receiving the least desirable ice times very early mornings or late evenings on school days. These policies and messages teach girls at a young age to wait, to settle, to expect less. In fact, the battle across all sport continues for more equitable investments in facilities, in training, and marketing. Important exposure that allows fans to watch women play and get to know them away from the game to create a deeper connection that inspires loyalty and greater fandom. So back to my opening statement. Sport has the power to create equity in society. You still may be asking, how so? Nelson Mandela tells us sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to unite people in a way little else does. It speaks to children in a language they understand. It can create hope where once there was only despair. For generations, sport has been creating a moral trajectory for greater society, breaking down seemingly insurmountable barriers. In times of war, peaceful competition breaking the gender barrier, and overcoming racial barriers. In this way, equity in sport can create a foundation for equity in greater society. So let your mind and heart take a ride with me. Imagine. Imagine a future where girls have equitable access to sports. More girls will play sports and learn at a young age they are equal to boys. More girls will stand up for their rights and develop the life skills that will serve them personally and professionally. More girls will be coached by women who will inspire their confidence and to dream without limits. 
More women will work alongside men as peers in all industries, including science and technology. And more women will step into leadership roles, inspiring a new generation of leadership that is open and embraces diverse perspectives. In a world where more girls have equitable access to sports, more boys will grow up playing sports with girls and learn at a young age they deserve equitable treatment. More boys will be coached by women and mentored by them who reward skill and effort over gender. And more boys will grow into men having gained an appreciation for girls and women through shared sport experiences. Girls and boys playing together normalizes the interaction. Relationships are built on shared core values, including respect for each other. In this way, girls and boys playing sports together can act as a catalyst to remove gender as a barrier. And now is the time. Inspired by the seismic changes as a result of the Me Too movement, a powerful cultural shift is happening for women in society. Pivotal milestones in industries that influence and shape culture. In entertainment, the film Barbie, the highest grossing film of the summer, directed by a woman, about women. Beyonce and Taylor Swift, two icons who crushed the highest grossing concert tours of the summer. In fact, the Federal Reserve tells us the Taylor Swift heiress tour boosted the entire global community. <laughs> and in sports, women in soccer, hockey, golf, and tennis fought for and won gender discrimination cases to ensure equitable pay, and treatment. Record-breaking attendance and viewership for women's sports. Coco Golf's first ever Grand Slam victory. World Cup in Australia. And in hockey, record-breaking attendance and viewership for the Olympics, for the US-Canada Rivalry Series, and for the Dream Gap Tour. The woman you saw on the opening video those are some of the greatest hockey players in the world who have fought for and sacrificed so much to ensure a brighter future for the next generation. This January, I'm so excited to see them achieve their mission with the launch of the PWHL, the first sustainable professional women's hockey league in the world. And this year we saw many women step into well-deserved leadership positions across the sport, including executive positions in the National Hockey League. So, if I have successfully made a case today that equity in sport can help create equity in society, then I have made the case that we need more girls playing sports. So here's my call to action, my request for each of you. Make a commitment to introduce one girl to sport. Introduce her to a coach. Offer to take her to register, maybe even pay for her. Watch a game with her, or better yet, take her to a game so she can experience it live. Or best yet, play with her so she can experience the fun and all the benefits sport provides. Together, we can create a more equitable society, and it starts with more girls playing hockey. Let's make this year. <laughs>